All right, guys, Steven here again, working on my 2011 Jeep Grand Cherokee uh, yet again. Changed the oil today and uh, ran into a little bit of a problem that I figured I would document. So I've already got the new filter on here, already got the new oil in and everything, but as I was taking my um, oil filter cap cover off of the oil filter housing, close to a, la a couple last uh, turns there, I heard a pop. Well, if you actually look down in here in the housing, there is something missing right there, which we'll get to in a second. So this is a 2011, apparently 2011, 2012. I uh, had this issue in a bunch of the Jeep, uh, Grand Cherokee, Wranglers, Dodge models, uh, Ram, Durango, anyone, this is a 3.6, uh, apparently has that issue. And from what I've heard and read up online, 2013, they got rid of that uh, in this design. Sorry, we're in the dark here tonight, but you know, I kind of get to go to work tomorrow. And I thought this was a dealer part only. It was actually kind of hard to track down at first, but we're coming up on 2019. Luckily, we have stores like AutoZone Advance that are hub stores now. Uh, and I was able to track this down at a somewhat local AutoZone that we had to travel about half an hour to get to, but they actually had it. So what it is, is here's a little plastic piece. This is your oil filter bypass valve. This is the Dorman. Um, apparently Dorman makes a, probably a better quality one than they put in the Jeep models. I don't know how true that is, but apparently it's a very common model. So oil filter bypass valve number 917992 is the code number. I actually ordered it online when I picked it up at AutoZone. Had 25% off on their website. Saved a little bit of money. But there's the old one. That's kind of like what's left of it. Obviously you want to try and get as much out of there as possible. Um, when you get down in there, I mean, you can't really see much if I can focus in, but you really can't see much in there because oh, there's a small little hole down in there at the bottom where your um, your oil filters through. But I stuck the shot back in there, didn't really get anything out of it. Um, I'm going to guess over time it's just really just whittled away. As it gets hot and brittle, it breaks apart. And these are the only two pieces that I was able to recover um, out of there. So the new one looks like this. So you'll see there's a lot big difference. Um, your spring just goes and drops down in there and then your see if we can get a good shot on the light there your new uh, little clip just kind of wiggles down in there and will clip into place uh, and that's that so again oil filter bypass valve um, hopefully this helps like I said, a lot of uh, stores are becoming hub stores now, so you might have to track it down, but some people did have to special order it. Uh, dealership is closed due to it being Christmas week until Wednesday, kind of panicked on that, but doing some research really helped. Found a local store that had it, so I believe it was $26, was able to save nearly $7 off of it, so that was a pretty good deal. Um, and yeah, so if this helps here, uh, thumbs up, subscribe, uh, comment below, please feel free to share it. Help out any of your friends, family members, uh, things like that. And uh, thanks for watching.